things I want to say to your audience mm -hmm. is that um, often, in, in my case, it was a mental health diagnosis, but it could have okay. been a divorce. It could have been someone losing a job. It could have been a dream that uh, dev got devastated in some way or a relationship that blew up. Each of us has a place where the thing that seems to be the most devastating thing in our life can be the most significant and most transformative place in our life. For me, yeah. it was depression. Wow. How did you find uh, the strength to really dig deep in and not let the fear overcome you and really get through it? Well, I'm going to tell you, one of the things that happened for me right off the top mm -hmm. is that in this place of depression, my husband and my daughters were going about their normal day, but I couldn't get out of bed. So I was at home. Right. That gave me a lot of silence and a lot of mm -hmm. solitude. The spirit began to just kind of talk to me and asked me a couple of critical questions. One was, who are you? And so often people ask us, who are we? And what they're really saying is, what do you do for a living? Yeah. Wow. But as the spirit was asking me that question, I was being invited to take a look at myself. Uh, One of the best ways we take a look at ourselves is to take a look at the story we've been telling ourselves about ourselves. Uh, I've been saying, okay, I'm going to be, a, as, a, as a child, I remember thinking, I want to be a good little girl. I want to follow all the rules. I want to do all the right stuff. And yeah. so what, what that means is you live your life wanting other people to accept you and approve of mm -hmm. you and pat you on the back. And as long as there's carrots dangling out, you'll work as hard and you'll try harder and work harder. Yeah. The crash helped me to realize I simply couldn't live like that any longer. Wow. Wow, I love that because it's so true. We get so caught up in just moving, 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 and not really self-reflecting right. and worrying too much about what other people think. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Or feeling as though uh, our approval and acceptance have to come outside of ourselves. Yeah. What the, the presence... Uh, that I call God, that abides in all of us, the breath that breathes within all of us, that power is uh, uh, affirming for all of us that we are valuable, that yes. we are worthy, that we're already approved of because that presence is living in us. And see, even as a pastor, I would say that to people, but I hadn't internalized it for myself. And so wow. the dark night of the soul, this experience of depression became this place where my life fell apart wow. so that God could invite me into creating a life that would really be worth living. Uh, I tell people song. all the time, it was, it was the, the most horrific point of my life, but I wouldn't change anything because it gave me the life I have now.